The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. There are a bunch of different outcomes the Raiders need in order for them to make the playoffs this year. The main one is the Raiders winning three games in a row to finish the season. Do you see that happening? Either way, the Raiders had a chance to put themselves in position to be the sixth seed and blew it against the Indianapolis Colts, a team not many thought they would lose to a few weeks ago. But that was then. The Raiders have been especially horrible on defense lately, and that has led head coach John Gruden to firing defensive coordinator Paul Gunther. Gruden has his fault in why the Raiders need a Christmas miracle too. He was way too conservative and waited too late to shoot it out with the Colts. Remember the first Kansas City Chiefs game? He was doing the same thing then, but when it wasn't working out, he allowed quarterback Derek Carr to shoot it out, and the Raiders came back and won. But Sunday, he played like he had the 85 Bears defense, and you know the rest. But firing Gunther wasn't about just Sunday. The defense has been bad all year, and instead of getting better like it did at the end of last year, it got worse, and here's how. You guys are already familiar with this, but I have to say it again anyway. First round pick, Damon Arnett was the best press man covering the 2020 draft. First thing they do when they get him as he comes in motion is put him in off man and zone coverage. Oh, he was never known for his route recognition skills. So this was his welcome to the NFL. And second year man Trayvon Mullen was the best press man corner in the NFL through the first four weeks of the season. He said, fool, don't even come at me like that. Route recognition skills are better than our nets, they're not great, so you can go at him when he's an off man. So earlier in the season, my only complaint was running coverages that didn't fit the Raiders personnel. But then later in the season, they couldn't even stop the run anymore. Just around three weeks ago, they were ranked number 12 against the run. But over the last three weeks, they've given up 181 yards rushing per game. And that includes giving up 200 yards rushing in back-to-back -back games. I remember linebacker Corey Littleton saying Gunther's run fits were different than what he's ever seen before. There were times that I wondered if there was an attempted run fit at all. Look at the hole here. Had guys getting into the secondary untouched. And they let opponents in the end zone way too easy in goal line situations. On this play, he has multiple holes to go through. weren't in the run fits and they didn't tackle. That's a bad combination. The miss. The defense is going downhill with the running back. Marcus Joyner 
has the chance to make a play here and misses. And it got no better against the Colts. one right there and he sure did make the Raiders pay <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore and here against the Wildcat the Raiders fall for the Oakley off the field off of third down passing situations has been a problem too. Morrow's in deep middle on this Tampa 2 and that leaves a hole in the middle of the intermediate area. And that's going to be a first down. Now we have quarterback Matt Ryan trying to fit one between Trayvon Mullen and Jeff Heath and it's not going to work. You do notice that there aren't a whole lot of stops on these third downs in these three games, don't you? Here's another stop on third down, but Jeff Heath is going to make this closer than it should have been. Anytime opposing receivers are stacked or bunched, the Raiders secondary is always confused, and there's always someone wide open. That's Gunther, not preparing his players for the game. Now, what third down defense has a guy or an area uncovered? Okay, let's go. We're in press man now. Oh, man. That man dropped his yellow handkerchief again. Here Johnson has his man, he's going to follow him in motion, then he's going to forget to go with him when the ball snap. That's coaching. You can talk about the COVID offseason and, and Gunther's complex defense, but Gruden has a complex offense and everybody knows what to do on offense. Is it me or is Nevin Lawson not competing and trying to run with his man on this rep? Linebacker Nick Kwiatkowski sure is competing, and he makes a third down stop here. The Jets are going to pick up this third down due to LaMarcus Joyner falling down. Now why is Nick Kwiatkowski covering Denzel Mims? Does Gunther know how fast Mims is? are with stacked receivers again by the goal line. Wrong move and you're dead. He's dead. Whoever the coordinator is next year has to have that cleaned up. Wow. The Raiders are going to get one right on this third down. Good coverage. Here we 
go with the bunch formation again by the goal line and they get it twisted again. Now this is a good play by Harris here on the disguise. Now here's the screen and they're gonna come up short. That's a good work, D. This time it's the Colts and they're gonna stop the screen on third down. We're gonna take another look at that for the speed and hustle of Vic Beasley. He closed on that fool right there. Oh, my favorite off man. And the Colts will have a new set of downs. There goes my favorite again. Devin Lawson's just going to take the L here. I can accept that though. The receiver was just better on that play. Here's Abram deep off the disguise. If Patrick Mahomes was throwing that, that would have been a touchdown. Now this here is going to be good coverage and it's just going to have to throw it away. Raiders shouldn't run any more off man until they know that off man means off the line of scrimmage, not off the man. Now this is a nice play by LaMarcus Joyner, who's going to come into the right of the screen here. doesn't have the speed to run across the field with fast receivers, so this is going to be a first down. And it wouldn't be a Raider game if the opposing team didn't get a first down by a penalty. Is somebody going to cover Taylor, the running back here? Raiders have been giving up those chunk plays too. Here's one out of the zone. Again at 24. Somebody messed up here because I know Jonathan A remains supposed to be one on one with T.Y. Hilton in off man coverage. No wonder why Pro Football Focus has such a bad coverage grade on him. Zone ain't for the Raiders. They don't have anybody that can anticipate and break on the ball. Again at 23. Now here's the Raiders tackling, or lack thereof, costing them a chunk of yardage. How many times has Carr had to pull the rabbit out of a hat just to get a win? He deserves better than a defense that makes him have to perform near perfect to win a game. Guys like Furl need to be put in better position to help win. Guys like Mullen need to be put in better position to help win. And Abram certainly shouldn't be put in positions like this with Hilton. And I can't even tell you what happened with the run defense. So Gunther is gone, and Raider Nation hopes the next defensive coordinator is better. Thank you for watching. See you next time.